Good morning, Mr. Photographer. Good morning, Mr. Filmer. How are you? I'm good. I have, we've had a really relaxing morning because we needed it. First we did that drift day and then like edited all night and then flew here and then two straight eight hour ski days. So today, I mean, there was only like 10, 15 centimeters of fresh snow. So we decided today is a down day, organize our lives and like get our everything under control. And sleep more than four hours. Yeah, it was really <laughs> nice. So yeah, I feel good. Yes. But I'm testing the camera because I had some fog inside the lens yesterday, which is really strange. Yeah. But now it's, it seems to be working again. Yeah, does anyone have experience with fog inside the lens? What happened then? Comment below. Yeah, please like let us know if that's normal or not. Help us out. Um, but as we have a um, bit of a down day, we figured that we can do a little bit of a house tour, a quick uh, little show where we stay, because I know a lot of people like to know where we stay. And we've already showed that out here is the Sugaige Ski Resort. I, I didn't know it snowed since there's been barely any snow, but tracks <laughs> are almost covered. That's the main feature of this place, that you just walk straight out to the gondola which is really nice so you don't have to grab a cab and stuff like that. Um, we have dining uh, table, which we haven't used. We have kitchen, which we have not really used. <laughs> I made coffee in the morning, but we should cook. It's just hard to find time for it. We've used this area. Computer, yeah. morning, Netflix right there. Netflix there, yes. I really like that. And pizza in the couch. <laughs> pizza, yeah, of course. Bedroom, uh, Marcus. Yes, almost. Clean and nice. Yeah. Um, entrance. With, I guess, a lot of snowing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> bathroom DeMarcus. Hello, bathroom. Should we do a quick tour downstairs before we head up? Yes. So I think, how many people does this place sleep? 14? 14. 14. Yes. I think it's actually more, but yes. it says 14. I just keep finding rooms. Yeah. But this room is like maybe my favorite room of the whole place. Laundry. Because you can do laundry, which is a luxury thing when you're out traveling this much. That's what we have a dry room, which is really good when you ski powder and there's, you know, a lot of white stuff. Yeah, this. We're gonna show this. Oh, yeah. TV room. TV room, PlayStation, and cool stuff. Yeah, here you can throw in the kids. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this, we need energy to play this too. I keep seeing this on friends, but I've never, I don't think I've ever really played it. Wine cellar. Yeah. And I think everyone can guess how much time we spend in the wine cellar. Zero. But it's nice to have it. And then office. Yeah. We're more like couch and bed office type people. Uh, bathroom. Huge. Sleeping room. I love these kind of rooms. Like you can get, you can sleep like 10 people in one room. Yeah, because if you're here, you're here to ski. So you bang all your friends in here. Not bang your friends, but like. <laughs> You bring your friends to this place. No, no banging. <laughs> no, bathroom. Another bathroom. Another ba bedroom. Yeah. Entrance. And here's the ski in, ski out. But it looks like the exit's a little covered. You know, when I was a kid, whenever we got snow, um, shoveling was like the favorite part of my winter. <laughs> that was like the best thing I knew. So I'm gonna go ahead and shovel later. Yeah, let's have some yeah. Okay. Main uh, living area, ground floor. Kitchen. So the, the, I think it's like four more bedrooms up here. It's two there, two there, yeah. And then we have my bedroom, which has a pretty good view. If you wake up in the morning and you wonder, should I go skiing today? Then you just look out here and try to figure it out. Um, changing room. The only thing missing on this trip is Yanni. Like, Yanni, why are you in Zanzibar on like white sand beaches? Come on, Yanni. Powder's better. Yes. Hello, Come here, Come on. But yeah, bathroom. Bathtub. Yeah, that, that, that's where I check my emails in the morning. I mean, it's, it's a huge place, which is really nice. It's a, it's a bit overkill even for us. <laughs> but we had some friends who, uh, who had this house, so they uh, helped us out, which is really good. So if you want information about the house, you can find it in the description. Thank you. Thank you. I'm really glad we sent that email and did that. And then, um, I figured, we, let's do a, a quick little GoPro chat. So, GoPros. I mean, that's like what we film 90% of our day with up there because if you want to stop and film everything, then you lose 90% of your skiing and I've done that for 15 years. So I'd rather, if you wonder why we have so much GoPro and not enough like slow-mo standing angles, it's because I love to ski and I spent 15 years waiting for filmers 
So now I'm going to take advantage of the new modern technology. Um, so the, our GoPro setup right now is that we have two GoPro 5 and one 4. And I mean, I would say they shoot the identical image, right? No. Yeah. Um, the 5 does, I think it handles uh, cold temperatures better. I feel like the battery lasts a little longer on this one. The screen's super nice to have it on the back, but it doesn't really like, it doesn't change much. No. It's nice to have. It's nice that it's waterproof, so you don't need an extra casing for it. So that, this one has for sure better sound. So I have three mounts. I have the one on top here, shooting forward. We have the one on the back, shooting back. And then we use this guy a lot. There we go. So yeah, um, selfie stick, not easy at all to ski with. It takes a quite, quite a bit of training to figure out how to, yeah, ski and hold it at the same time. But this, I love this thing, because you can go skiing and you don't need to wait for anyone. You can get like all those nice face shots. Yes. Um, it looks easier than it is. Much, yeah. much easier. Yeah. Mark is like, I want to do that too. And then he's like, I can't. I almost <laughs> killed someone, yeah. <laughs> That's true, that was funny. And then if we move on to settings, I know we, I've seen a lot of questions on settings. On the GoPro that I have on my head, we have the 4K 24 frames per second setting on the wide setting. Is there anything else to say about the settings? Mm, Pro tune on. Pro tune on. Yeah. So those four things. And that's really nice. Um, on the selfie stick, we run usually around 100. Sometimes we run these, the same setting, but a lot of the time we shoot 1080, 120, wide and pro tune. Yes. So on this guy, it's pretty nice to have slow motion so you can slow it down if you want in, uh, in editing. So basically we use two different cameras, one up here and one there. And then, uh, yeah, we're still learning. We're kind of uh, GoPro amateur still. <laughs> we're getting better. For sure, I'm getting much, much better. So I think that's, uh, if you guys have any more questions in regards to GoPros, just uh, let us know. But I hope that covered the main parts. And no, we do not get paid for saying this. <laughs> no. <laughs> As always. <laughs> <laughs> we never get paid for anything. Yeah, sorry that that's become our standing joke, but it is a little funny that we have 600,000 views a day and we promote all this stuff and uh, maybe we'll get like a free mount. <laughs> Who cares though? We're here to have fun. We're here to have fun and we do have fun. Ouch. Oh, come on, stop. But so today, the mission was to rest our body and sleep a lot, do the things we need to do like, you know, emails. They just keep coming even if the snow keeps coming. Yes. Just damn emails. So now the reason I seem extra happy is because I've done so many emails that I feel, ha. Ah, relaxed. Relaxed. So the plan today is that we're going to head down to Hakuba, the village, and check that out. <laughs> okay, look at Marcus' shoes. Why are you laughing? Hold on, you're, you're going to give me the camera and I'm going to watch you suck through there. Okay, here we go. This is fine. Oh. Oh. <laughs> You're such a tourist. Hello. Uh, no skis no. today. No I, skis, I, thank you. I, so you're okay, perfect. almost. It's perfectly fine, I'm not even wet. Oh. And it even got a hole in it. You show the house from here, because we never showed it from outside. Okay. So if you just point the camera that way, we get an idea of the house from the outside. It's really big from the outside. I know. <laughs> Overkill. We like overkill. That we do. And we like Japanese taxis. Yeah. Arigato. Arigato. Banku. Yeah, cash machine. We're working on our Japanese, but we're not so good. We're, we're such amateurs. We're super touristy. <laughs> we're like, Hakuba Center, maybe? And we're like, is this Hakuba Center? We have no idea it's where we're going. Space. Super! Yeah, taxes are, are not cheap in Japan. Arigato Subaru! I love Japan. Team tourists are uh, complete with a camera <laughs> on the neck. So what do we, uh, <laughs> what do, we do? I want to find a shovel. I want to find food. Food? Yes. Okay. This is promising. Because the food and everything in Japan is uh, quite different. Bamboo coffee bar. Hi, Hello. How are you doing? Do you have anything to recommend to eat? Uh, the pulled pork is probably our number one seller. That comes as a, as a sa open sandwich with ciabatta, ciabatta bread. Mm. Perfect. 
We found food. We found fantastic food. Super good. Good English reception here so we can figure out what we actually got. Yeah. <laughs> Which is really good since our Japanese is very limited. Thanks. Thank you so much. That was a fantastic day. coffee. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. What's next? I don't know. Walk around, check it out. <laughs> Thank, Thank you for you the so map. Much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Bye Ciao. Bye. Ciao. We got a map. See, we such tourists. <laughs> that's like the best thing about getting a big vlog that you can walk in a random store in Japan and you have people following the vlog. So now we are all set up and we know where to go. Okay, left. Uh, but no, right, we check out this store like real quick first. Okay. And then we walk down and look at that mountaineering store. Cool. <laughs> Found it! I thought we, we both thought we were pretty lost because we've been walking forever. But this is supposed to be a really cool outdoor store, and we need to get geared up when it comes to avalanche safety. I've seen a lot of comments that we should talk more about it, so we're gonna go and buy more about it. You're obsessed with shovels. Yeah, I love shovels. Shoveling is like a sport. We have a lot of different ones. Liking it. Yoon, I need your help. With what? I need a new backpack, but I have a problem. Every single one is so damn ugly. Well, we should get you a second one of the one I have, but since we don't have that, I agree that you kind of should. Can't you find anything that looks... Maybe they, maybe some people think your stuff is ugly. <laughs> well, f*** them. Ah, this is like maybe camera top pocket. Okay, like this looks actually, let's see how much damage one of these does. 17,500 money. It's fun to be a pro skier and like reviewing things. Because if I see something I, I think is great, I'm gonna say so. Even though I own a bad company, I like this top pocket. The never ending struggle to find the perfect shovel. <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you even testing? I can test how much it woggles, how big the blade is, how good it is to hit with your ski boot, how small it gets, and how many money? 9,200. 6,300. Yun, it's a damn shovel. Uh -oh. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Yes. Perfect. Thank you. Thank no, you. Problem. no problem. Yep. How much? 149,000 money. Good thing I don't know the conversion rate. <laughs> so I have no idea how much this just is. Just a lot of money. It's, 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 we just bought what we needed. So we can't cut it shorter. Thank you. So have a good day. Have a, have a good day. Uh, Japanese story. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, everyone from Japan is cool. Uh, okay, so yesterday I announced on my Instagram that I was gonna sell the Lambo. And, well, either way, uh, a guy said, Oh, you're gonna buy land in Japan now. Because <laughs> everywhere I go, I get so excited about places. <laughs> I didn't read that one. <laughs> I laughed out, out loud for myself. So, no, I'm not gonna buy land here, but I love it. Like, basically, this whole winter, I'm gonna keep an eye on weather forecasts here and then come for all the storms. But now we are all geared up. I saw a lot of comments on the fact that we didn't talk anything about avalanche safety, we're ducking ropes and skiing off feast and all this stuff. And okay, I'm gonna give you my thoughts on avalanche safety and everything. The reason I love Japan is because pretty much all the skiing is in the trees. It's pretty tight trees. Japan has a climate that usually is good for the snow layers, so it stays fairly safe. So one of the main reasons we come here is because you can ski pretty much everything and you're usually way safer than anywhere else in the world. It's not always true, but they're, they're, it's better here. And the first two days we had zero avalanche equipment, which I don't think is the best, but I don't think it's a huge deal when you ski just in the trees like we did on just small areas. And something that I think a lot of people forget is that just because you have a shovel, a transceiver and a probe, it doesn't mean that you're good. Like the most important thing is always judging where to ski and try to figure out whether this is this a safe bowl or a bad bowl. Yeah. That's number one. And then number two, if you have a transceiver and your buddy's in an avalanche and you bought this fancy transceiver and you haven't trained with it, chances are it's not gonna help you at all. If you're in an avalanche and you panic, you won't even like, it doesn't matter how much fancy gear you have. So the conclusion is make sure to be smart where you ski and get the gear, but also make sure to, to train yourself with the gear. So today we're like, today we're preaching a lot. We are. But you know, I think we should. Sometimes <laughs> it's good to talk a bit and like, not just like, woo, woo. 
<laughs> the coolest taxis in the world. Enough geeking. It's not geeking, it's making sure that you know how your stuff works. This, for people who don't know what this is, if someone gets buried, you use, sorry that we haven't explained. You use this to find the person who is um, missing, and then once you've located it, then you walk around and like, poke until you find your friend, and then you have the shovel to dig him up. Okay, so here's the backpack that we found that we thought were the best, and here it was, uh, here's, this is like first sample, so this is like crap looking compared to the final deal. So I'm real happy with what, see the difference in look? Yeah. You know, like this, yeah, I'm real happy. But while we set it all up, make sure we have battery and all that, and do everything, I think we should end the vlog, because now when we're in Japan, we gotta upload at 1 a.m. at night, so it means we gotta edit everything, uh, before we go to bed. So that way it's better to end early so that we can keep it going with all the time difference. <laughs> yep. So, uh, and we still haven't learned any Japanese. So we'll, we'll just go with English. We, we'll see you guys tomorrow. It was nice to have an, a day off and rest. Get all geared out. Uh, now we're ready for the rest of the winter and you guys have seen where we live. So link in the description below. To, Super nice place. Yeah, to this place if you wanna go check out Japan, which I highly recommend that you should. We've been saying all week that Japan, like there's no reason to ski anywhere else than Japan. And you have powder in Japan, it's the best. So yeah, check that out. And then also check out Powder Life. They were the ones who have sort of helped set us up uh, in Japan with our last minute trip. Links below. Below. So check that out. We're gonna go to bed, sleep, uh, and uh, try to figure out what to do tomorrow. I kind of want to build jumps. We'll okay. leave that for tomorrow. But I want to jump and like do flips. Okay. See you guys tomorrow. Ciao. Over and out.